everyone you are welcome to my channel the niceness cares if you are new to my channel my channel is about health and medical information for a better living today we are going to be completing the topic diabetes mellitus please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a new video so let's get started diabetes mellitus is very common in our society today even among children diabetes mellitus is a chronic disease that affects carbohydrate metabolism so if you have diabetes you need to reduce your carbohydrate intake because when carbohydrate is high it can affect your body and cause a lot of complications that can affect the heart the kidney and the eyes and even the nerves the following are foods that you should eat fatty fish fatty fish is very important because they contain omega-3 fatty acid and omega-3 helps to protect the blood vessels and re this reduces the risk for heart disease because diabetics are also at risk for heart disease so fatty acid reduces inflammation markers inflammation is swelling and redness of the blood vessels especially the blood vessels of the heart so omega-3 fatty acid helps to protect the blood vessels of the heart yeah by reducing the risk of heart attack and stroke it even reduces bad cholesterol it modifies your good cholesterol so eating fatty acid or fatty fish like mackerel sardines henry they are very good for your body apart from the fact that they have good oil that helps to protect your heart they also help you to have a feeling of fullness that makes you feel full for some time and you will not go hungry so omega-3 fatty acids are found in fatty fish it is very good for diabetes another good food source for diabetics is green leafy vegetables green leafy vegetables they are very good for diabetics because they do not contain carbohydrate that can raise your blood sugar they contain nutrients and minerals they even contain vitamin c so they are very good for you as a diabetic when you take green leafy vegetables what it does to your body is that it protects your heart and it also contains antioxidants the antioxidants they are very good because they protect your blood vessels and your eyes from getting a cataract which is a very common complication of diabetes the vitamin c also can reduce your blood pressure and even your blood sugar so it is very important also that you take green leafy vegetables you can get them in spinach and in other greens so as a diabetic make sure you eat plenty of vegetables another good food source for diabetics is eggs you may wonder yes eggs they are very good for diabetes because when you eat eggs it can make you full for hours and it can also increase your insulin sensitivity and eggs modify your bad cholesterol making you to have a lot of good cholesterol in your body and you know what that means a reduced risk for heart disease and high blood pressure eggs also contains antioxidant antioxidant that protects your eyes from damage so eggs are good for diabetics but you know too much of everything is bad so when we say eggs is good for you do not take eggs too much a good source of dairy product for diabetics is yogurt it's 
and sweetened yogurt so plain yogurt plain yogurt is very good for diabetics because when you take it you feel full and it also reduces your appetite it can even help in the management of weight loss so yogurts are very nice for you to take as a diabetic plain yogurt though not sweetened yogurt Sumeric is a spice that has health benefits for diabetics. Yes, turmeric can reduce inflammation, can reduce the risk for heart disease. It can also reduce your blood sugar level. So it is very important that diabetics use turmeric to spice their food. But remember, before you take turmeric, consult your healthcare provider because it can interact with your drug if you are taking other medications. Turmeric works best when you take it with black pepper. So, turmeric is very important in that it can reduce your blood sugar, it can also protect your kidney from damage caused by diabetes. You know, diabetes is the leading cause of kidney damage. So, turmeric is very important for diabetics. It is very important as a diabetic to add nuts to your diet because nuts, they are very good. They reduce your inflammation, they reduce insulin level in your body, and they also reduce your blood sugar. When you add a good number of nuts to your meal, you are going to get a lot of health benefits. So, examples of nuts are walnuts, cashew nuts, and almonds. There are others. Yes, it's very important that you add nuts to your diet because it will protect you from contacting some kind of cancer and Alzheimer's disease. Because when insulin is very high in your body, it can lead to, to some kind of cancer and Alzheimer's disease. So not reduces that insulin level in your body. Olive oil is an oil that is very healthy for the heart because it contains oleic acid. And olive acid protects the heart. Olive oil contains antioxidants, and antioxidants reduces inflammation of the blood vessels, of especially that of the heart. And olive oil also can reduce bad cholesterol, bad LDL level, can modify it, and also reduce blood vessel. So it is very important that diabetics add olive oil extra virgin olive oil to their diet because extra virgin olive oil has its antioxidants retained it has not been refined so if you want to buy olive oil please buy from a reputable source because they have um, refined some by adding corn oil or soya oil garlic is another herb with impressive health benefits because Garlic can reduce cholesterol, bad cholesterol. It can reduce blood sugar and it can also reduce hypertension. So it is important that diabetics add garlic to their diet. But please, when you are taking other medications, consult your healthcare provider before taking garlic because it can interfere with your medications. Apple cider vinegar has many impressive health benefits. So it can reduce your sugar level. It can also help you to uh, feel full for a longer period. So if you are eating apple cider, uh, cider vinegar, you add a teaspoon to your diet to reduce your carbohydrate to as much as 20%. So, apple cider vinegar is very good for diabetics. So now, let's talk about foods to avoid as a diabetic. The first food on our list is sweetened beverages. Sweetened beverages, they are very high in carbohydrates. So, it is good that you avoid it. Because when you take sweetened beverages, your blood sugar will shoot up. So, it is not good for diabetics. And we can get sitting beverages from a uh, soft drink, mineral, fruit juice, 
uh, energy drink so those are not good for diabetics and you know what they do is that they increase your blood sugar level they increase your blood cholesterol level they increase your insulin resistance they even promote belly fat and you know belly fat increases insulin resistance so avoid sweeten beverages do not take them instead you can take water and add a little lemon it will, it will feel good so please avoid sweet sweet beverages they are not good for you as a diabetic avoid taking sweetened or processed cereals for breakfast because they contain very high carbohydrate content so instead take high protein diet for breakfast because they can help you feel full for a longer period so do not take sweetened or processed cereals for breakfast because their carbohydrate intake Carbohydrate content is very high. Avoid flavored coffee drinks. If you want to take coffee, you know coffee uh, has high health benefits. But what you do is that you take plain coffee. Plain coffee is good for diabetes because it does not contain that much sugar. So if you want to take coffee, take plain coffee instead, not sweetened coffee. Avoid packaged snacks food because they are very high in carbohydrates. Avoid snacks that are packaged because they are made with um, refined flour. I know refined flour is very high in carbohydrates. So they are not good for your body. They can easily increase your blood sugar level. And they also increase your insulin resistance. So avoid that. Also, avoid fruit juice because they contain fructose and fructose increases insulin resistance. So, it is better to take natural fruits than taking fruit juice. They may tell you that they do not contain additional sugar, but this is not true. They add additional sugar to it. So, do not take fruit juice. Avoid them. So, as a diabetic, it is very important that you control your carbohydrate intake. Yes, portion control is very important. If you have a plate of food, shear the plate into half. A portion of it should be full of vegetables and grains. Then the other half portion you share it. One quarter of it should be protein and the other quarter carbohydrates. So that is how your plate of food should be. Take plenty of leafy greens and vegetables, small carbohydrates and moderate protein or one quarter protein. So try to reduce your carbohydrate intake. Consult your healthcare provider. If your lifestyle changes or your food uh, cannot control your diabetes, then your healthcare provider will prescribe drugs that can help you control your blood sugar. And some of the drugs that are prescribed are metformin, chlorineurias, which also reduce your insulin. Exercise regularly. Take your medications. Check your blood sugar, see your doctor regularly, then eat regularly, do not skip meals. When you are doing exercise, make sure you take some snacks before you do, especially if you are taking anti-hyperglycemic drugs. This will help you to prevent or avoid the complications of diabetes. And the common complications are hyperglycemia and hypoglycemia, which your drugs can cause. Hyperglycemia is a high level of sugar in your blood. And hypoglycemia, which is reduced blood sugar. You can correct this by quickly taking a drink of sugar when you have hypoglycemia. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. And if you have comments, 
or suggestions please drop them in the description box down below see you in my next video